When a plane full of packages arrives in Cincinnati, it's greeted by a team of officers this might be clear to me. from U.S. Customs and Border Protection, led by Chief Supervisory Officer Eric Zizelman. CBP is the first line of defense for any, you know, people and cargo coming into the country. Through a sophisticated x-ray machine they go. As the shipments are coming through, we're evaluating the image to see if we discover any anomalies. And if something doesn't look right. Then we do a physical exam. In the couple of hours we spent with officers, they discovered poppy pods. People will actually boil these down and make an opiate tea out of this. Potentially fake Botox. You don't really know what you're injecting in your body. A picture frame full of marijuana and. As I can see, this doesn't look quite normal in here. A toaster oven with dental mold smuggled inside. Something like that could potentially be a test run. Illegal drugs, phony pharmaceuticals, and um, teeth aside, there's something else officers look out for. Um, Louis Vuitton, we have Coach. Counterfeit um, goods, from jewelry to Jordans. They, they look terrible, the quality. And of course, the handbags. Well, you know, we would refer to this as a 50 footer. Um, Sorry, a 50 footer? 50 footer, right. Why is that? From 50 feet away, you can tell that it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for a great deal on luxury gifts for your Valentine, Zizzleman says think before you buy. You're getting an inferior product and you're getting something that's potentially dangerous. So yes, dangerous. Zizzleman says true, counterfeit brand name price. electronics and auto parts are out there too. You don't know how well this product is made. And if it's not made well, could you plug this in and potentially start a fire in your home? If U.S. Customs spots a counterfeit, they seize it. But the problems go beyond disappointment and potential danger. Goods like this are imported into the country. They're sold. The profits are made. The profits are then sent back overseas to help support those terrorist organizations. Protecting not only um, consumers, but protecting the nation.